The Maldives Islands are the nation's big earner, but almost $80 million paid for them by tourism tycoons has been stolen. This man led the theft, former Vice President Ahmed Adib. He's now in prison, but he was working for the president, Yamin Abdul Gayoum. He speaks on the phone, and the president gives him the order to take the cash. So I'm the one who takes the bag to him, to his residence. Mohamed Latif, also known as Moho, is one of three men who make the claim in secretly recorded confessions. The Maldives government has issued an international arrest warrant for Ahmed Ishfar Ali and Mohamed Hussein, the men on the run in the UK, and say the president wants them back because they know too much. I call up Nadeem and I, I, I will tell him that I have received this money. Sometimes he will tell me, go and give to president. For the president it is, but I mean it's difficult to believe. <laughs> Moho ran a front company that received the stolen money. He says they cashed it out and delivered it to the president and his deputy. In this paying-in slip, the name's been blacked out, but it can still be recognized. Half a million dollars to President Yamin, to his account at the Maldives Islamic Bank, check number 247. We have verified it with a bank source. The vice president asked me to deposit a check to the president's account, directly to his account. I did two transactions. I noticed that it was on a fast track. It was transferred that day, within three hours, to that account. The vice president's driver also says he once gave the president $100,000, only to be told to return with a million. One time, Yam was angry with me. Ajib just texted me and asked me to give 100. So I thought it was 100,000. So I took two bundles, that is 50-50, and Yamin came down. He himself came down, so I just gave the money. He was like this. He made the face to me. He told me to give one million. The yeah. bag is full, one, one million. <laughs> so again, I had to go to the Yamin's place. Then I, he came, and he got the money. At the time this report was produced, the Maldives government had yet to provide a detailed response to the allegations. Will Jordan, Al Jazeera.